Kubineri. Good evening. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good evening. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, welcome. Teacher, do, do you think that in before these years ends? Uh, are we going to, to take the the next model? Very good, teacher. Ah, I'm sorry. I hope so that we have it. I think this the beginner it has five modules. If I'm not wrong, then you have four modules in the intermediate level. I think. So I, I hope to finish this year, but I don't know if the, remember that vacations are coming, pays off as well. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we, we finish? No, because uh, it takes time to, to... I don't I don't know how to say so tie the what do you say the the people who inscribe or or, or ask for our, our documentation, I don't know, the paper, they had to fix the paper. So it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it takes well. Let's see. Hopefully we finish. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good evening. I'm sorry. Good evening. Today it is Thursday 18. Thursday 18. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to start taking the tenant list. And Mr. Alexander Aron. Present. Arely del Carmen. Eh, Brenda Lisset Garcia Orellana. Present. Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Present, teacher. Lucas Jose Cruz Amaya. Present, teacher. Mire, ahorita voy manejando para la casa. Está bien, Mr. Try safe. Elvin Alexander. Present, Erika Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Francisco Antonio. 
Heidi, Marisol, Menjibar, Menjibar. Jenny, Marisol, Escobar, Hernández. José, Nicolás, García, Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Maritza Reyes López. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Wilmer Fabricio. Present. Thank you. All right, thank you, Miss. Okay, so today we're gonna start new class. Vamos a iniciar una nueva clase. I'm sorry, I'm here, Mr. Okay. Miss Arely, good. Yes. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, well, let's start. Okay, well, yesterday we studied a little bit about was and where. Estudiamos un poco también sobre was and where. También tuvimos un poco de los ejercicios, okay, eh, utilizando was or where. Entre paréntesis, eh, si estaba not, era negativo, y así sucesivamente. Vamos a comenzar, vamos a recordar el número uno, Mr. Menedemo. I was or I were. Where? Mm -mm. I were. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wilmer, number two. Scared because of the horror movie. I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again? Okay. She was scared because Good. of that she was. horror movie. Uh, Miss Sonia, number three, please. In negative four. They weren't at home yesterday. They weren't. Excellent. Uh, next, Mr. Alexander, four. Was he happy yesterday? Was she was, happy yesterday? Was, Excellent. Miss Brenda, number six. It wasn't. I don't know, we, we were. We, we were, were late, late for, for the, the movie. movie. Okay, number seven. Uh, Miss Erica, please. Number seven. Were they excited for Were the party? Were they excited? Very good. Were they excited for the party? Good job, Miss. Number eight. Number eight, Miss Carolina. He he was noise of the library and she was noisy, excellent. Number nine. Uh, Miss Arely, please. Number nine. I wasn't at school yesterday. It was Sunday. Excellent. Very good. And Mr. Nicholas, number 10. What are we in the library? Okay. Were we quiet at the library? Were we quiet at the library? Excellent. Very good. Same, we have these uh, sentences. And we have estas. Uh, Oraciones, no, eh, hay, que no, hay que fijarse bien cuando utilizamos el verb to be, entonces ahí sí vamos a colocar wasn't or weren't. Si utilizamos otro verbo, por ejemplo, write, entonces ahí vamos a colocar didn't más el verbo. Didn't buy, didn't call, didn't see. Entonces esa es la diferencia entre weren't y didn't. Okay? Weren't or wasn't lo vamos a ocupar únicamente cuando esté el verbo to be. Y los demás verbos, por ejemplo, write, walk, play, vamos a utilizar para la forma negativa, didn't. Okay, for example, number, uh, sentence number, number one says, I am satisfied with my laptop. Vamos con Mr. Juan Alberto. Press, eh, present teacher, Ricardo ah, Perenga. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. 
¿Cómo sería la forma negativa de la primera oración? I wasn't satisfied in my laptop. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Excellent. My laptop. Number, second one says, Martha writes a letter for her boss. ¿Cómo sería la forma negativa eh, en pasado de esta oración? Mi Martha. Miss Brenda. Martha didn't um, write a letter. Didn't write a letter. Excellent. Didn't write a letter. Three. Uh, let me see. Mr. Mr. Alexander, number three. We are so happy. In ese caso, estamos utilizando el verb to be. We weren't so happy with the Excellent. Concerns. We weren't so happy. Excellent. Four. Mr. Wilmer, number four, Pedro and me drive to the company. In present or past? In past, negative and past. Pedro in, in, in I know. And me? Then Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Didn't drive to the company, excellent. Five. Uh, Mr. Menedemo, please, number five. Negativo en pasado. Uh, we did then buy a problem. Number five. Ah, no, me equivoqué. Pero, she dance a call a gun company. Okay, number five, it says the principal didn't send many emails. Didn't send many emails. And the last one, last one, let me double check. Miss Erica, number six. The program wearing. The Where program, is, the program. Where is, it is too slow. Okay, the program is too slow. Ahora lo vamos a convertir al pasado. Vamos a utilizar wasn't or weren't. Excelente. Entonces sería the program. It was. Wasn't. Too the slow. program wasn't slow. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Okay, I brought this question. What, what question do you generally ask customer to confirm information you know? ¿Qué preguntas generalmente hacen ustedes a, a sus clientes y, o eh, para confirmar información que ustedes ya saben? What question do you generally ask customer to confirm information you know? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas hacen para confirmar información? ¿Cómo está el, cómo está el producto? ¿Qué calidad How the, tiene? How is the product? Okay. Is the product? Uh, uh, Mr. Alexander, you told us what is your number of cell phone? Uh, what is your cell, uh, telephone number? Excellent. What is your telephone number? Excellent. Uh, another volunteer. What questions do you generally ask customer to confirm information you know? Okay, well, uh, in the manual, we're going to find this reading. Vamos a encontrar estas preguntas. Bueno, perdón, estas, eh, estos artículos. Read Mr. Mendoza, Mr. Mendoza and 
Mr. Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Men Torres describe their experience with two big different companies. Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece of he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand, understand it. Besides that, besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Okay, esa fue la experiencia que tuvo Mrs. Mendoza con esta compañía. ¿Qué tal Mr. Torres? Dice, I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind, he was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Engine is eh, el motor, el motor de su automóvil, engine. Okay, eh, who do you think have, who do you think have or had a better experience? ¿Quién tuvo la mejor experiencia? Mrs. Mendoza <laughs> or Mr. Torres? Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres. 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 Excelente. Ok, vamos a, a practicar la, la lectura. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Alexander que inicie la lectura de Mrs. Mendoza. I had a problem. I had, I had a problem with the payroll system. My technical technician came to help me with it. Excelente. But, continue, uh, continue. but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece. A piece? A piece? A piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. That he came very late. Excellent. Okay. Technician. Repeat for me, Mr. Alexander. Technician. 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 Also, Technician. peace. Peace. Pedazo que el rompió. Peace. Peace. peace he broke. Okay. And let me see. Report. 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 Okay. Good. Report. Ahora vamos a leer la experiencia que tuvo Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres. And let me see. Mr. Miss Brenda, can you help us, please? To read it. Okay. I had a problem with the car in engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car problems too. He gave he gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I start the engine and everything was perfect. Excellent. Good job, Miss. Good pronunciation. Okay. And let's ask Miss Areli. Can you help us to read the experience, uh, Mrs. Mendoza's experience, please? Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it. And, um, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand, under, understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Good, thank you very much. Okay, Miss Sonia, can you help us to read Mr. Torres' experience? Okay. I had a problem with the car's engine, so I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast, and he was quick to fix my car's problem, too. He gave me details about the incident, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine, and everything was perfect. Okay, uh, good job, just engine, engine. 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 Okay, eso es, se refiere al motor. Engine. Okay. 
Uh, in the first conversation, Mr. Wilmer, who did Mrs. Mendoza call to solve his, her problem? Who did she call? A, a technician. A technician, excellent. In the uh, Mr. Torres, okay, in the case of Mr. Torres, who did he call, Miss Jenny? Who did Mr. Torres call to solve his problem? Uh, assistant. Okay, for assistance. Assistance. okay, for assistance, excellent. Por, él llamó por ayuda. Good, excellent. Let me see. Okay, uh, what was, what, well, in this case, what were the bad things Miss Mendoza had? ¿Cuáles fueron las cosas malas que ella tuvo? Que ella tuvo? What were the bad things she lived? Her car is broke. Okay, good. They charged, ella le cobraron, ella le cobró incluso por una pieza que él cobró. He even charged me for a piece he broke. What else? ¿Qué otra cosa mala sucedió en la experiencia de Mrs. Mendoza? He didn't say anything. He, the, the technician didn't say anything. Good. He was very late. He was very late. Excellent. Okay. Good. Eh, ¿qué sucede? ¿Cuál es el, el caso con Mr. Torres? ¿Qué cosas le sucedieron a él? ¿Qué cosas buenas podemos decir? What good things he yeah, left. He was really kind. He was really kind. Excellent. The mechanic was really kind. What he else? Was, he was there really fast. He was really fast. Okay. Quick service. Service. Excellent. What else? He was going to fix the car problem. He fixed the, uh, the car problem. Did he, gave, uh, did he give details? Did he give details? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Good. Okay. All right. Here we have the these two questions these two questions example it says did miss mrs mendoza had a problem with a method of payment did mr torres call his best friend for help okay vamos a eh, resolver estas dos preguntas vamos a tener alrededor de un minuto treinta un minuto treinta para eh, resolverla Start now. Okay, time is over. Time is over. Ahora que ya contestamos las, las dos preguntas, vamos a tener un minuto treinta para poder discutirlas con nuestros compañeros. Okay, tenemos 
vamos a tener este pequeño espacio para compartir la respuesta con nuestra compañera. A short question. Oh, we can use a long question, a long answer. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. He had problem with payment. Hey, the teacher. Yes. It seems very. Uh, did Miss this Miller Torres call his best? Um, did Miss Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Yes, she did. But yes, she did, Rivera. Yeah, uh, I, I am thinking about well, yeah. Miss, I, I think it's, it's a little bit easy. It was, I I uh, I feel a little bit lost. <laughs> Yesterday I couldn't get into the class. But, uh, 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 puede ser, verdad? Yes, yeah, she, she did it. Problem with the prior system. Yeah, pay, payment. Ah, uh, met, method. Payroll. Uh huh. Payment system. Sí. La, 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 la máquina se le trababa. Ajá. <risa> Ese fue el método la, para pagar la nómina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pero, some, some time. Eh, ¿Cómo sería la primera? Yes, she. Yeah, a short. I would use a short answer. Hello. Eh, Brenda tiene problemas con su audio. Así que voy a vamos a intentar así por, por chat. Ok. Thank you. Vaya Brenda. Ahí dice que, que si tuvo problemas la señora Mendoza con su método de pago. Sí, tiene razón, entonces sería no. No, he... Mr. Torres, call. No, Mr. Torres, ajá. Call, llamó. Ajá, no, Mr. Torres. Al asistente de la compañía. Ajá, no, Mr. Torres, didn't, didn't call, didn't call for assistant. Yo así he puesto. Pero Diane está agregando el no. Uh -huh. No. 
Mr. Torres didn't call. No, Mr. Torres didn't call. It's okay, teacher. Hello. It's okay. This answer, I, I, in my answer says, no, Mr. Torres did it not call he the his best friend. Ah, sería, uh, Mr. Torres didn't call, didn't mm -hmm. call his best friend. His he best called, friend. He called the mechanic. For example. He called. He called his best. He, he called the mechanic. The mechanic. Uh huh. He didn't call. His best friend, he called the mechanic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solo lo último no le había puesto a nadie. He called the mechanic. Your microphone, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's compare the answers. Okay, uh, number one, it says, did Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with a method of payment? Yes, she didn't. Yes, she didn't. She didn't. Has yeah, she problem did. with the payment. Yeah, she did. She had problem with her payment. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay, and how about number two? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Excellent. Not he called the mechanic. He called the mechanic. Perfect. He called the mechanic. Very good, excellent. Ahora vamos a ver un poquito, vamos a repasar un poco eh, la, la estructura de la forma negativa, eh, interrogativa del pasado simple. Okay, para que simple past. Don't forget it. Okay, we use the past simple to talk about what happened before the present time. Hablar de situaciones que sucedieron antes del presente. En este caso, podría ser ayer, dos semanas atrás, el año pasado, eh, la última ocasión. Okay, son acciones que sucedieron en el pasado. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, he walked home. You liked the meal, he looked at the phone, at the photo, sorry. He looked at the photo. Uh, we stayed in a hotel. Uh, they exercise in the park. Okay, esas oraciones, ¿en qué tiempo gramatical se encuentra? Past. Past tense, pasado. ¿Cómo identificamos que están en pasado? ¿Qué no, porque no hay palabras que indican, como por ejemplo, ayer o la semana pasada. ¿Qué nos, qué nos indica que está en pasado la oración? The verb. The verb. The verb. ED. ED. Ok, ED. muy bien. Los verbos tienen ED. Ok, al final. Eso significa que son verbos regulares o irregulares. Irregulares. Regulares. 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 Ok, porque aplicamos una regla. Y los irregulares son aquellos verbos que al, al conjugarlos en su forma al pasado, cambian totalmente a la hora de escribir. Ok, very good. Ok, we're going to use, we're going to look at the three ways to use the past, the past simple. Positive statement, 
negative statements and questions. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver las tres formas del pasado. Su forma positiva, forma negativa y forma pregunta. Positive statement. Para hacer la forma positiva. Eh, en, en los verbos regulares vamos a agregar ed o de en ciertos casos. Por ejemplo, work, para convertirlo al pasado, vamos a decir. Worked. 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 Ok, vamos a agregar ed. Worked. 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 Subject. Plus the verb. Ed. Ok, aquí tenemos sujeto más el verbo más ed. Con los verbos regulares. Con los verbos regulares. For example. I. She, she, it, it, it. You, you, we, we they. they. En este caso, tenemos el verbo work. Work. It doesn't change. They don't, they don't change. No cambia. Ninguno de los sujetos cambia. No es como en el presente que agregamos S en las terceras personas. Aquí, eh, en todos los sujetos vamos a agregar ED, en su forma afirmativa. Ahora vamos a ver los, las negative statements. ¿Cómo, es, ¿Cómo decir yo no fui a, a la casa de mi amiga la última vacación? Yo no, eh, ellos no compraron la casa. Ahora, vamos a ver cómo, cómo realizar oraciones negativas, pero en el pasado simple. I didn't went. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't okay, go. Vamos, para el pasado, vamos a utilizar eh, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar, pero antes hay que recordar cuál es el pasado de do. ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? Did. 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 Entonces vamos a en el pasado vamos a utilizar did. Did como auxiliar. Por ejemplo, vamos a decir subject más did not plus base form. Ok, algo muy importante. Eh, ok, eh, vamos a tener el sujeto más did not, que vamos a utilizar frecuentemente la contracción que es ¿Cuál es la contracción de did not? Didn't. 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 Más el verbo en su forma base. Cuando dice, eh, cuando dice base form, se refiere a aquellos verbos que no tienen conjugación. Que no hay que agregarle ed, que no están en pasado, sino que únicamente están en su forma infinita, que significa que no, no tiene conjugación. Más eh, agregándole, no vamos a agregar ed. No vamos a agregar ed. El verbo tiene que regresar a su forma base. Si usted dice, eh, I didn't work con ed, está mal. O si dice, I didn't, I didn't, let me see, broke. I didn't broke, también está mal. El verbo tiene que regresar a su forma infinitiva, a su forma base. Example. You did not work okay you did not work you did not work si utilizamos la contracción como diríamos miss jenny si utilizamos la contracción de did not como diría la oración you didn't work excellent you didn't work como pueden ver tampoco hemos agregado ed únicamente vamos a agregar ed en la forma afirmativa afirmativa continue Okay, you did not. Okay, desaparecen las ed. 
¿Estamos claros en la forma negativa del de pasado simple o seguimos reforzando? Ok, vamos a ver las contractions. Las, contract las contractions sería didn't work. Didn't or didn't work. Didn't work. Ok, estas son las contracciones. La contracción de did not. Es la forma corta de pronunciar. Ok, vamos a ver ahora eh, la tercera forma, que es la forma pregunta. También nuevamente vamos a utilizar el pasado de do, que sería did, did, ok, para hacer o formular preguntas en el pasado simple. Tenemos did plus subject plus verb. Esta es la fórmula que vamos a utilizar. Did, sujeto más verbo. Did, sujeto más verbo. Tenemos, example, did they work? Did they work? Nuevamente, el verbo tiene que regresar a su forma base, su forma infinitiva. Ok, tenemos acá la forma eh, afirmativa. La vamos a convertir ahora a forma pregunta. Colocamos did al inicio. Y eliminamos las ed o de de los verbos. Porque tienen que estar en su forma infinitiva. Y decimos, did she work? Did we work? Eh, did I work? Ok, estamos eh, haciendo preguntas en el pasado. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, vamos a tratar de completar la, el statement. Cada espacio, cada blank. Por ejemplo, la summer. Ok, primero vamos a, vamos a buscar las, la, el pasado de los verbos. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es el pasado de spend? El pasado del verb to be. El pasado de go. El pasado de get. El pasado del verb to be again. El pasado de eat. Vamos a ver. El pasado de put. Put. Ok, let's, let's begin. La summer, my family and I spend it. Spend. 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 holiday was was spend or a holiday in some point. An amazing island It's silent. The island beep was was, was or didn't was was el pasado was. del verb to be es was or where. Pero como estamos hablando de una isla, vamos a utilizar was. Okay, continue. Uh, the island was very big in there. Where. 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 where, ¿por qué where? Porque estamos hablando de los plurales, estamos hablando de muchas cosas. A lot of There things. were lots of things to see and do. Number where. five. Uh, well, I'm sorry, number five. There was. Four. We. Stayed. Uh, stayed. Stayed. At comfortable bungalow and. And went. And went swimming. Every day, the island's beautiful beaches. I got. I got, excellent. I got a great suntan. I tried, tried. Try. 
Hay try. Aquí cuál try. regla vamos a aplicar? Try. El verbo well. termina en Y. Hay try. una regla para las Y. I try. I I D. I I D. Exacto, dijimos que si el verbo termina en un Y, pero antes del Y hay una consonante, vamos a eliminar la Y y vamos a colocar I latina más ID. Tried. The local cuisine. Beer. 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 Was. Work. Restaurants. Work. Where. Where. Various traditional restaurants, plural, on the island, and we ate. I. 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 There every evening. We do it. Book. On about three kilos during this holiday. But Zuma is not all about sun and food. We also mix. Visited. 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 Many. Visited. Visited many interesting sites like Uncle Minnie's Garden and some mountain viewpoints, which I found. Um, Found pretty impressive. I also low, 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 love it, love it. The people there, they was, was, they was, where, 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 has. Has es el presente. Has. 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 Ok, es como en el caso del didn't, del did. Exacto, didn't. Decimos do y das si estamos en yo. En presente, do. ajá, y en el presente. Y, ah, y, y didn't es para todas las personas, ¿verdad? Y didn't para todas las personas en el pasado. En el pasado, ok. Tanto positivo y negativo. Eh, solo en negativo. Ok. Ahora vamos a realizar la forma pregunta. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, sería Did you when? go shopping yesterday? Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Where did you went or go? Where did you go? Where, Where did you go? You go. Where did you go? B. I went. Went. I went to the central. Really? How? How go? How do? Got. I go. Esta es la auxiliar. Primer, vamos a colocar primero la auxiliar. Es. Did. Did. Where did got? No sé, get. 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 Teacher pregunta. Discúlpeme mi ignorancia otra vez. Yo la escuchar. Sí, sí, lo escucho. Es que a mí me cuesta saber en cómo poner, yo, cómo identificar si ser, saber cuándo debo utilizar realmente el did 
el, y el verbo, ¿verdad? Was. Eso me perde bastante a mí. Vaya, eh, Pero, va a utilizar was cuando esté utilizando el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si en paréntesis dijera to be, en ese caso sí vamos a utilizar uh -huh. was o where. Pero acá, como el uh -huh. verbo no es was, ni tampoco el verbo no es el verbo to be, entonces aquí uh -huh. el verbo es get. Entonces en esos casos get. sí vamos a utilizar did. En este caso, digamos que did es como que absorbe la acción del verbo para no conjugar en pasado, digamos así. Exacto. Para no, para no colocar el verbo, por ejemplo, en, en pasado. Ah, ok. ¿Qué es teacher? Entonces tiene que fijarse el sentido de la oración. Si la oración dice, o es necesario que utilice el verbo to be, en este caso sí lo va a colocar. Pero en los demás verbos, en el pasado vamos a utilizar this. Ok. Vaya, gracias. Ok. And then we have I. Uh -huh. I went by car. What did you buy? What did you buy? What did you buy? El pasado de comprar. I bought. I, I'm sorry. I didn't buy I didn't. any food. I, I bought, bought some clothes in CD. Continue. Yes, I chose. I knew. I chose. Chose. I chose a David Bowie Black Star in clothes. Yes, I. El pasado de get. Got. 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 Yes. It looks very nice. Pregunta con el verbo like en el pasado. Did you, did you like it? Like, 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 la gramática. Okay, let's start. Uh, in the last one, I don't know, she? So. No la veo, she didn't see it. When I? Forge. Okay, good. Uh, acá está un, un ejercicio sobre el pasado. El pasado simple en las tres formas. Negativa. Afirmativa y pregunta. Ahora lo van a hacer ustedes. Tenemos esta pequeña conversación. Lo vamos a realizar en grupos para que, y si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo dejan saber. No queda en grupo, teacher. Ah, oh, perdón. Veamos, veamos. Está en el está para que ingrese al grupo 1, Mr. Francisco. Pero ¿a dónde veo el mensajito? Porque toqué la pantalla sin querer y, y no me no entró. Vale, el participante. Permítanme, ahorita lo intente ahora. Ahí está.
called the listen. Es listen. Listen. Es, es el mismo. Y solo que. Ay, creo que es con ED. Listen. Let me check. Listen. Yes, it is at the end. Listen. Please. Listen to music. Number five. Mom and dad were angry though, though because we. Be, we, 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 the house. <laughs> Not tiri, será tiri, tiri, como era. En cual, en la. En la five, in the number five. Not tiri. Que no teníamos, no tenían ordenada la casa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not tidy. Tidy is. Yes. Pero me perdí la foto. Uh, 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 where's number? Ah, no, the number five. Hace mm, como no hay guioncito ahí. Uh. <laughs> En el 5 sería, quiero ver. Teacher, ve acá en el pasado, vamos a usar. Así es. Y así es. Sí, 5. Y... Permiso, permiso. The boy I like from my music club. I spoke in the cinco seria I spoke. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I spoke. Mom and dad were angry because teacher. Hi. Este. What does it mean no TD? Eh, no ordenar, tiri. limpiar, organizar. Perfecto. Gracias. Because we didn't TD. Sería. No porque es ordenar y decía nuestros amigos. Ah, no. Ah, ¿En no, cuál la, número? La, perdón. La seis. Mom and dad were angry oh. sad because we didn't tidy the house. Puso. Sí, en la primera, we went, I know my mom and dad went away for the weekend. So my brother and I had a party. It was very fun. We ate, lost food, and listened to music. <clears throat> I spoke to Sam. The boy I like from my music club. Mom and dad were angry so because we didn't tidy the house and we didn't our homework. We didn't didn't do didn't do our homework. And a siete. <clears throat> and I said this earlier, I didn't do. 
Bien, bien. En la 8 sería We help Pasado En, uh -huh. en el 3 Says, ok Says Es list Listener 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 Vale, ok, entonces volvamos a leerla Entonces decía My mom and dad went away for the weekend. So my brother and I had a party. We we not met in the three. No met. Met. Uh -huh. Loss of food and the four is listening. Number five. Um, ay, gracias. Ok, number five. Lo había, lo había girado. <laughs> Dice, vaya, volvamos a leer. My mom and dad. Uy. My mom and dad went away for the weekend. So my brother and I had a party. It was great fun. We not met loss of food and listening to music. I, 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 vamos a ver. I, 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 spoke, spoke sería, creo yo, to some. I, boy, I like from my music club. Uh -huh. I list, I, I, spoke. I remember this. I did. I did. And now number five. Number five is I spoke. I don't remember this. What <laughs> mm. is it? Is it the speak? But you use the speak. speak. Ajá, pero no vamos a poner I speak, sino el pasado de speak. Speak. Ajá, ahí sería. Speak. Uh -huh. Spoken, algo así creo que es. Ay, no me acuerdo. Spoken. Yo creo que así se escribe. E S P. O K E N spoken S P O K E N S P O K E N S S P O K uh -huh. K I -E N E N I N de último I T I Ajá, la E y la N. Ajá. Dice, the boy I like from my music club. My mom and dad were in great soul because we... Spoken. I spoke to sign the boy I like from my music club. club. My mom and dad were in great soul because we, the house, okay, they, we, we, um, is, um, No, no tidy. And we are homework. And no. Pero nosotros. Yeah. Ajá, the seven creo que es not do. Vamos a poner ahí el pasado de not do. And the seven, but the number six. Because we. Listen, help. 
um, because we help the house and not not to our homework. Ayudamos en el trabajo, ayudamos en la casa y en el trabajo. Ajá, tendría es help, entonces. Y el pasado de help, because we, and we do not our homework. So on Sunday, we not tidy our friend at the sports play. <gasps> Listen and help. Help. Entonces, number six is help. Eh, eh, sería help. No, eh. Helped. H. Uh -huh. H E L. H E. H. E. L. When. Entonces ya no podemos ocupar otra vez when o si. Sí. No sé cuántas palabras hay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Ah, ah, están Ajá, pero te digo. Mi mamá o en dad. Ajá. Ma serían when away the, for the week. O sea, mi mamá y papá se fueron de fin de semana. Uh -huh. No fueron de fin de semana. Ah, pues sería we, es que si fuera, no fueron, sería not go. No, no, no. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero después uh -huh. dice, so my brother and yo. Pero, uh, ajá, pero I mi hermano went, y yo. I party. Fuimos, fuimos a una fiesta, ahí uh -huh. sería la número dos. Ajá. His wife was on the phone with Ajá. We had lost the phone mm -hmm. and listened to music. Mm -hmm. I... My mom and I were angry troll because we. Pero nosotros hablamos la casa is. Y ahí y sería speak, ¿verdad? Y nosotros, eh, we... No sería en la ocho. We speak our friend at the sports center like we just like you. Eh, la ocho sería speak, we spoke. En el número, número. Ocho que dice, que dice, we are friends at the sports Por center eso, ahí like... Por ahí te decía. We spoke. Pues, pues ahí utilizaremos el verbo speak, hablar. Ah. Nosotros hablamos a, nuestro, a nuestros amigos, dice, con el de, de deporte, dice, el, el centro nos gusta a nuestro. Como el, el, como ah, centro del deporte. Como, centro, como el tema central del deporte. Ah, de deporte, Ajá, entonces sería we speak a. Es, speak, spoke. spoke, spoke, ¿verdad? No, eso sería spoke. Hay que el teacher es que son ahí. <laughs> she's working. Uh, she's, uh, no sé si. Del inglés me estoy olvidando. <laughs> We are quiet teacher because she is working, concentrating. I see.
sería DIT entonces, porque sería el, estaríamos utilizando el pasado de DU, que uh -huh. es hacer DIT. Ok, 9 sería DIT. Y esa es la casa de nosotros, dice. Este, that house en which. Sí, me queda la duda, porque en esa no la, no la usé. Teacher, que es go away. ¿Cómo se usa el go away? Go away. Eh, se fue, se retiró del lugar. O, o salir. No. Salir, irse, escapar. Ah, ok. Pero cuando uno habla con alguien, no se dice speak, se, se, se diría tell. O se puede decir speak. Speak to. Perdón, ¿en cuál, mis? Disculpe. Pues, no le escucho, mis. No, aún no le escucho. Sé que está hablando, pero no, no le escucho. Todavía no, teacher. Hoy sí le escucho perfectamente. Gracias. En, en la parte de donde dice eh, Tom, donde menciona Sam, perdón, Sam, to Sam, the boy I like from my music club, podría ser speak, speak to Sam. Eh, ¿En pasado? No. Spoke. Exacto, ahí sí, I spoke. Spoke to Sam. Ok, de acuerdo, dice gracias. Y entonces, eh, digamos, el cuadro se va a completar solo con pasado. Pasado, sí, negativo o afirmativo. Entonces, si es el go away, sería my mom and, and dad went away. Uh -huh. Así es. Okay. Así queda, ¿va? Sí, sí. Va. Yeah. <laughs> 
Trabajar. We already finished, teacher. Okay, got it. Let's come back. Ok, Estaba let's start the conversation. Aquí. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Brenda que lea el número uno. My mom and dad went away for the weekend. Excellent. Went away for, week, for the weekend, so... Uh, number two, Mr. Alexander. My brother and I. My brother and I had a party. Had a party. Had a party. It was great fun. We. We. It was great fun. We ate lots of food. We ate lots of food, excellent. Miss Jenny, number five, please. Well, number four, I'm sorry, number four. Number four says lots of food and listening to music. Listen to music, excellent. Listen to music, five. Mr. Wilmer, I, number five, I. I, I spoke to Sam, the boy I like from my music club. I spoke to Sam, the boy I like from my music club. Number six, Miss Erika. Number six, mom and dad were angry. Though, because we... Didn't tie didn't the house and we... Didn't. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas and we, number seven. Um, didn't. Didn't. Didn't do. Didn't do, okay. Didn't do didn't our do. homework. So on Sunday, we. Uh, Mr. Francisco Renderos, number eight. Uh, didn't meet. Didn't meet, excellent. Our friends at the sports, sports center. center. Like we usually, usually do the next date. We, uh, do. we did our homework. We did our homework and Miss Sonia, finally, please. And we helped, helped Miss Mom and Dad Clean up. We help mom and dad clean up. Excellent. Good job. Excelente. Ahora vamos a hacer un poco de... Eh, Vamos a, a crear oraciones negativas en pasado. ¿Cómo, lo, ¿Cómo formamos oraciones negativas en pasado? Vamos a utilizar did, didn't, más el verbo en su forma infinita. Por ejemplo, he started, he didn't study. I went, we didn't go. Ok, vamos a comenzar con la número uno. Vamos con Mr. Nicolás, José Nicolás. Eh, 
the tone. Mm -hmm. I didn't. No, está, ya, ya está incluido el sujeto Tom. Ya no es necesario ah. que diga I. Tom didn't. Tom didn't understand. Understand. Excelente, muy bien, señor Nicolás. Tom didn't understand. Vamos con she and catch. Vamos con eh, Mr. Elvin, please. She didn't catch. She didn't catch the butterfly. Excelente. Vamos con eh, Miss Brenda. He swim. He didn't swim. He didn't swim. Excellent. Eh, Miss Jenny. Sue spend. Sue spend. Sue didn't spend. Sue didn't spend money. Muy bien. Vamos con Miss Sonia. They agree. They didn't agree. They didn't agree. Excellent. Ok, para hacer pregunta vamos a colocar primero did. Ok, y después el sujeto más el verbo. Por ejemplo, did you buy the book? Did you buy the book? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Esa es una pequeña, es una respuesta corta. Nuevamente, eh, para crear una pregunta en pasado vamos a colocar did más el sujeto más el verbo en su forma infinita. Y la respuesta puede ser corta, por ejemplo, yes, I did or no, I didn't. For example, she eat. She eat. Vamos con Mr. Alexander. She eat. ¿Cómo crearía una pregunta utilizando she eat? El sujeto y el verbo. Did she eat? Did she eat an ice cream? Excellent. Did she eat an ice cream? Muy bien. Yes, she did. Ok, eh, vamos con Miss Carolina. Vamos a crear una pregunta utilizando they and slip. They didn't sleep together. They didn't sleep. No, estamos. Esa es una negativa. ¿no? Oh, didn't. Ah, perdón, sorry. Did ¿Ah? eh, they sleep together? Did they sleep? Excelente. Did they sleep? No, they didn't. Vamos con mom feed. Miss Arely, mom feed. Did mom feed the baby? Excellent. Did mom feed the baby? The answer it is, miss? Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay. Jane, bye. Mr. Wilmer? DJ by uh, what is that? Uh, didn't Jay by did Jane buy? buy? No, she didn't. Muy she bien, did. ella vendió. Okay, vamos con Miss Erika. They win. Oh. Didn't they win? Didn't they win? No, no es didn't. Didn't es negativo. Did. Estamos buscando did, hacer una pregunta. Did, Ajá, did, exacto. Did. A ver el sujeto. Did they win? Excelente, Miss. Muy bien. Felicidades. Did they win? Yes, they did. Okay, what did he cook? What did he cook? ¿Qué creen? ¿Qué cocinó él? Langosta. <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp, I think. Shrimp. shrimp. I yeah, think right. that is lobster. Lobster, right? Yeah. Yes. Lobster. Lobster. They cook two lobster. Yeah, here we have. Lobster. Okay. What did she find? What did she find? El pasado de find is found. What did she find? 
She found a baby. She found a baby. I think it was Moses. Found a baby. Yes. Okay, what did they eat and drink, Miss? Let me see, Miss Jenny. What did they eat and drink? El pasado de eat es ate, el pasado de drink es drunk. They did eat and drunk. Okay, pero sí, muy bien. Sería they ate, el que, el que comieron, they ate. Snack, fruit. Watermelon. Okay, watermelon, watermelon fruit, it's okay. ¿Y qué tomaron? They drunk. Orange juice. Orange juice. Ahora nuevamente, Miss. What did they eat and drink? They eat watermelon and drink and drunk orange juice. Okay, el pasado de eat es eight. Eight. Sería eight, como el número, eight. Eight. Okay, nuevamente, what did they eat and drink? They ate watermelon and drunk orange juice. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. They ate watermelon and drank juice. Very good. Vamos con mi Sonia. Did mom relax? Yes. Yes, mom. Do you think she's relaxed? Yes, no, no. She's very stressed. Okay, she's very stressed. No, she didn't. She did housework, housework. Did they teach math? Uh, let me see, Miss Carolina. Um, did they teach math? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Oh, they, no, they didn't. Much. Okay, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, excellent. No, they didn't. ¿Qué, qué materia es? Eh, geography. Social. Uh, geography. History. Yeah. Geo, geo. Uh -huh, history. Geography. 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 Okay. Uh, how did they travel? They traveled by bus. They travel by they bus. Travel. They travel by bus. Okay, they travel by coaster. Just kidding. Okay. They travel by bus. Entonces, cuando utilizamos doble question, teacher, tenemos que utilizar el verbo, digamos así, utilizando reglas gramáticas. En este caso, como son los verbos, su mayoría. Eh, regulares tenemos que utilizar el, la IED y es perdón el, si el verbo es regular tienes que colocar ED si es irregular Ajá. tienes que ponerlo en su forma en su forma eh, si es una pregunta en su forma infinita. Infinit, infinitiva infinitiva ok gracias May. did he live in eh, Finland ya yeah. No, I think they. No. He is no, in. No, he didn't. Oh, he lived in France, La France. Uh, what instrument did she play? She played the violin. The violin. She played the violin. Excellent. Where did the fairy sit? Where she, 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 she sat, sat, sat on a mushroom. On a mushroom. On a mush. What did Tom make? The sat. What did he sat? He made a snowman. He made. He made. He made, he made, he made a snowman. Snowman. Snow. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. ¿Qué hicieron a esta hora? Por ejemplo, what did you do yesterday at 
7.45. You see me say, ah, yesterday at 7.45, I took a shower, for example. ¿Qué realizó a estas horas? For example, Mr. Francisco Renderos, what did you do yesterday at 7.45? Um, I ate my breakfast. Excellent. Miss Brenda, what did you do yesterday at 8.15? I uh, I cooked the dinner. Excellent. The dinner. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Miss Jenny, what do you do yesterday at twelve thirty? I ate my lunch. Good. Uh, Miss Carolina, what do you do yesterday at two thirty? Um. Um, prepare I prepare cake and okay. bake okay I bake a cake uh -huh. and bake a cake excellent Mr. Wilmer what did you do yesterday at I think it is four four o'clock four o'clock uh, I was working, but I worked. you worked. Okay, good. I worked. Okay. Okay, ¿qué verbo creen ustedes que corresponde al número uno? My mom drove, 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 drove her car to the office. En la número dos, Carl sent, sent, sent an email to Mary. Número tres, um, went, went, went to school. I went, I went, not, I didn't, 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 I didn't, I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't take. I didn't take the bus to school. Oh. Okay. Four. ¿Qué, qué verbo creen ustedes que puede ir en el número cuatro? Her teeth three times. Brush. 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 Brushed. Excellent. Brush. Passed. Five. Jim, the homework. Did. Did Jim do the homework? Did Jim do? Excellent. Did Jim do the homework? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Six. The math exam was disappointed. I am disappointed. I, I am. I have. I had. Okay, no. again. I, have. I had, had the math exams or I okay. took the math exams. Okay. Okay, seven, Tom. The way. Oh, wrote. Oh, wrote. Wrote. A wrote a letter. Wrote a letter. Sandy. Sally. Sally. Sally, where? 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 Her dictionary. Great. And Ray. Lost, the pass of lost. No, it's lost. Okay, yeah. Sally lo perdió lost. y el, la señora estaba enojada. Sally lost oh. her dictionary, so Mrs. Jones was angry. Oh. Was oh. angry. Was angry. Muy bien. Ok, ahora van a decir una cosa positiva y una cosa eh, negativa. Ok, por ejemplo, how about music? Una cosa negativa de music in English. The reggaeton is bad. 
the reggaeton is bad and something good? And the opera. The opera? What the happened music, with opera? The music relaxes you? The opera you? is relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the music relaxes you. Excellent. Okay, how about football? Something bad about football. The team the selecta is uh, the private. The selecta team is como como decirlo este corrupto. Ah, corruption. Corrupt. Okay. Corruption. Okay, and something good. Something good. They represent our country. They represent the country. Okay. Uh, mobile funds. Mobile funds. Mobile funds. Negative is the addictive the technology. Okay. People get uh, addicted to the, to technology and something good. Yes. Um, is easy for the communication. Uh -huh. Other country. Yeah. Agree. It easier the communication with people from our country. Okay, alcohol. I didn't. I go. No. Something good and something bad. 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 Okay, for your health is bad. And and something positive. And is using with medic for Medicine. kill the body, the, the bacteria and virus. The bacteria. Okay, good. How about dentist? Something good. Uh, and they um, Save clean and they have the mouth and toe too. They clean the mouth. Okay. Reading Two. something good, something good about reading. Algo bueno de la lectura. Mm. Es que, no, and, and you exercise things. your brain. Uh huh. The other is and acquire new vocabulary. Okay, you acquire new vocabulary. Yes. And something bad. Acquire. Something bad. Uh, something bad. That's when <laughs> you fall asleep. <laughs> no, you fall asleep. Yeah. Okay, how about milk? Something good about milk. <laughs> <laughs> the milk is good for by the bones. Okay, for the bones, for uh, los huesos, and for the babies too. Yes, and the something bad. What? But is the intolerance of the lactosa. Okay. <laughs> Some people can drink milk. Mm -hmm. How about weapons? Something good about weapons. Weapons uh, is armas or the sí, armas. Oh. Okay. And the is is bad dangerous. because I'm kill the people. Okay. It's dangerous. Good. Homework, dangerous. your favorite. Ah, the homework. Something bad. Um, it's a difficult. <laughs> it's a difficult. A uh, resol re resolve vertige. Solve. And uh, solve. Okay. Solve. Mm -hmm. okay. Hablando de tareas, vamos a, le voy a explicar la actividad para el día de mañana. Va a ser algo acerca del speaking. Speaking. Donde la dejé. Ok, bueno, el día de mañana vamos a realizar una presentación donde ustedes van a poner en práctica el, el tiempo gramatical en pasado. He traído algunos temas para que ustedes puedan inspirarse. Ok, eh... Por ejemplo, vamos a escoger un tema y van a hablar alrededor de dos minutos de ese tema. ¿Ok? 
pero el tema está relacionado en el pasado, entonces se tiene que buscar eh, bastantes eh, verbos en pasado para poder crear su speech. El speech son como su discurso. ¿okay? El tiempo, el target time will be two minutes, dos minutos. Eh, por ejemplo, usted puede hablar de cuándo fue su última vacación. When was the last time you had vacation or your holiday? Por ejemplo, puede contestar eh, who did you go with? ¿Con quién fue? Where did you go? What was special about this holiday? ¿A dónde fue? Eh, ¿Qué le gustó de ese lugar? Ok, etcétera, etcétera. También otro tema sugerido puede ser eh, When was the last time you went to the cinema to watch a movie? Por ejemplo, ¿qué película miró? Eh, ¿De qué se trató la película? ¿Qué le gustó? ¿Por qué le gustó? ¿Quién no le gustó? ¿Con quién fue? Otro tema sugerido puede ser eh, When was the last time you went to a restaurant? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue a un restaurante? Por ejemplo, ¿con quién fue? ¿Qué comió? ¿Qué, qué pidió? Eh, ¿Si le gustó la comida o no le gustó? Ese es un tema sugerido. También otro que tengo es eh, ¿Cuál fue su última lectura? When was the last time you read? Or you read? Por ejemplo, ¿Cuál era el tema? Perdón, ¿Cuál era el, el, el title? Eh, ¿Quién lo escribió? ¿De qué se trata el libro? ¿Si le gustó o lo odió? ¿O terminó llorando? Ok, ahí depende del libro que usted eh, quiera compartir. Otro tema sugerido. Eh, when was the last time you received a present? ¿Que usted dio o recibió un, un regalo? Puede ser el que fue, quién se lo dio, eh, por qué se lo regaló, si le gustó o no. Ok, es tema sugerido. Otro, eh, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que usted se sintió triste? ¿Estuvo mal? ¿Por qué lloró? ¿Cómo se sintió? ¿Ok? Eh, o la última vez que usted eh, estuvo muy feliz, que sonrió bastante. ¿Qué la hizo sonreír? ¿Cómo se sintió? ¿Si estuvo sola? ¿Si fue en compañía? Otro tema sugerido. Eh, eh, ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que practicó deporte? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que practicó deporte? Puede ser... Eh, qué practicó, con quién jugó, con quién lo practicó, cómo se sintió, y así. Bueno. Entonces, estos son los temas sugeridos que, que traigo. O si usted tiene, usted, si usted quiere agregar otro, está en libertad de hacerlo. Puede hablar de su primer día en la escuela, su primer día en la universidad, su primer día en el trabajo, eh, su última vacación. Eso es, ahí queda uh, tema libre, pero tiene que ser en pasado, el speech. El tiempo va a ser por dos minutos y usted está en la libertad de poder realizar su PowerPoint presentation y presentarla durante la clase. Ok, eso es opcional. Ok, mañana lo vamos a realizar durante la clase. Vamos a hablar de un tema en pasado, un tema en pasado. Ya verán que mientras, cuando usted esté practicando su speech, su discurso, eh, después se le va a ser más fácil recordar los verbos. Cuando, okay, así que vamos a, eh, les voy a dar tiempo para que puedan pensar en sus temas, de compartir ideas con sus compañeros y eh, poder trabajar en ello. Ok, aquí vamos.
I went to the cinema with my with my daughter. Um, I remember uh, we watched. Uh, I don't the name of the film. It's Rabbit, no sé qué. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ah, su su topia o su topia, ¿no? No, ya está. Is the Rabbit. It was an uh, very, very funny. Um, oh, I, I haven't seen that. But so that the, the part that I liked the most was when Thanos was fighting against um, Captain America and Thor at the same time. But I remember that I, I didn't buy popcorn. I was very hungry. <laughs> but I, had, but uh, I was hungry, but I, I didn't care about it because I the only thing I wanted was to watch the movie. I, I really didn't enjoy it. I was following the the three movies, the first one, which was um, Civil War, and then, the, no, Civil War was the second one. But everybody were waiting for for the last movie. And it was very nice. I, I really liked it, liked it that. So, for this time, I am waiting for the Matrix, the four, four movie. I think it's going to be next next month on December. But I, I don't know the day. But I'm going to go. I am going to go. Okay, who who the people with? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I went alone because nobody in my house likes to watch movies. science fiction movies. Ah, okay. like, I am the only one who likes that kind of movie. I, I like it. And I think we are, everybody are waiting for Guardian, you need, how do you say, Guardian of the Universe? I don't remember. <clears throat> but that is the, the, let's see, the third, the third movie. It's going, it's going to, it's going to be interesting. But, I remember when I was in, in, inside the
City. No, ese es ya la, para la litoral. Ah, es, la, okay. es, alrededor, es alrededor del lago de Apulo. Ok. Está bien. Ah, ya, 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 ya. ¿Y los pangos decís tú? No, aquí por, Apane, por Chinameca. Ah, Chinameca. Uh -huh. Apulo. Ah, ok. Chinamequita o Chinameca. Uh -huh. Alrededor del cerro. Ah, ok. En Chiva, en la ruta. Sí. Bastantes restaurantes por ahí. Ah. No, no he caído yo ahí. Entonces ahí estamos. Sería vacaciones. En su casa sería vacaciones, don Alexander. Ah, sí, te la cuento vacaciones. Ok. ¿Y, y, y, y tú, estimado Eric? Elvin. El, Elvin. Elvin, perdón. <ríe> Elvin. Ya me cambiaste de nombre. Eh, ya vamos a, quiero ver. Quizás de, la, de las vacaciones también que fui a, la, fui a la playa. Vaya, ok, excelente. Igual, vacation. Así es que ese sería el tema en común. Me parece bien. Okay. Dos minutos, ¿verdad? Vale. Vamos a ir con la, con la, con la, la aerolínea. Por cuál? Por Larry. ¿Qué es aquí? Va a hablar de sus vacaciones allá en Francia, dice más o menos. <risa> de cuando fui a la Torre Eiffel Qué galán oh, And you Yes, it's Torre Eiffel Torre Eiffel ah, Qué bueno <risa> Ok, yo voy a hablar Acerca de El deporte A ver O a la playa, yo no a la gente sí. que, o, de, o tenemos que estar a las 7 de la mañana para que yo me bañe y tipo 8 y media 9 yo ya para afuera y, y si es posible a las 10 yo ya me quiero venir de regreso sí va a ser divertido ir todas estas pláticas sí así Tantas que experiencias que hay a ver a ver cómo nos resulta Pero, don Edgar, vamos a hacer todo lo posible en esos dos minutos. Sí. Y don Edgar, ¿qué nos dice? Que no fue don Edgar T-shirt. Ok, we are back. Espero que hayan discutido y eh, encontrado buenas ideas con sus compañeros. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de este día. Le correspondía a Mr. Ronald, pero no se encuentra con nosotros. Eh, vamos con Mr. Alexander Aarón. Miss Arely del Carmen. Present. Miss Brenda Lisset. Present. Carolina Present. Leonor. Present. Edgar Present teacher Elvin Alexander Present teacher Erika Beatriz Present teacher Francisco Antonio Renderos Present Feliz noche eh, Heidi Marisol Jenny Marisol Present José Nicolás García Maravilla Present teacher Juan Rico Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvaringa Alas. Present teacher. Have a good one. Thank you, you too, Mr. Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Present teacher. Miss Laura. Ok. Eh, Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis. Sonia Miriam. Cortés. Present. Wilmer Fabricio. Present. Ahí estoy. Ok, ahí estamos. Bueno, chicos, eh, estimados participantes, nos vemos el, el, el día de mañana con su presentación.
ok, de dos minutos, pueden, están, pueden traer su PowerPoint, o si no, pueden pasar únicamente con su speech. So, you may have a blessed night. Take care. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Bendición a todos y a todas. Gracias, Iwan. Mm-hmm.